We don't have to do. No. <laughs> Australia. Like every country on earth, it has a lot of gamers in it. With a unique position in comparison to other countries when it comes to cultural growth, Australian gamers have some interesting properties. In spite of mediocre internet speeds that are likely comparable to internet cafes in the rural Philippines, Australian gamers have more or less developed a Russo-Yankee culture with Australian characteristics. If you ever have the not-so-unique privilege of joining an Australian gamer Discord server, you'll be met with the profile of an anime girl, only three chat rooms, and a server name like Goonbag. I struggle to find something that contrasts more to the style of a Japanese anime girl than a $5 Goonbag lying on the side of an East Perth footpath. Yet, those two images are the kind of things that Australian gamers represent themselves with. The duality of man, Goonbags and hentai. Of course, when it comes to the choice of games that Australians decide upon, it's not very special. Nothing proves that cultural downing to the United States more, it proves it even more than the uh, internal coup of the Labour Party back in the 2010s. Of course, what we bring to the table of those games is completely different, as, much like the wars in our country, we may fight the same wars as the major powers, but we like to do it in a different way. Gamer chat rooms is where the Australian spirit truly begins to shine. A country that is able to have leaders like Paul Keating can't persist in a talkative chat room environment without being the dominant comedian out there. Australian gamers breathe chat rooms like Nick Nananui breathes from those oxygen tanks. There are not many Australian streamers. In fact, uh, one out of the four that I do know, include my own brother, but the pattern I have found so far with Australian streamers is they usually have profiles of chibi Pokemon. Welcome to the setup tour of the pro gaming streamer, Hey Jolly Lubecore. Pro Gamer! With a one color RGB lights, plus tri screen one HDMI cable setup, pro multi use laptop, and a pro paint covered $8 Bunnings chair totally not used as a step ladder in the new past lifetime. Hey Jolly Wanker is ready to stream a choice of millions of games like Audacity and Google Docs. All Australian gamers make up a significant aspect of the Australian culture. They are millions in a country of thousands. Yeah.